subscribe our channel knowledge distributor for latest technology and smartphone videos iphone 10s max versus the oneplus 6t speed test let's begin with a boot up test in three two one and see which one can get there first now keep in mind that the oneplus 6t is almost three times less than an iphone 10s max under 600 dollars for this phone eight gigabytes of ram snapdragon 845 a six point i think it's like a four one inch screen it's a pretty big screen here maybe three nine it's 6.3 to 6.4 here for the oneplus 6t and they look to boot up at about the same time 6.5 inch oled screen for the iphone 10s max apple a12 bionic chipset this does have four gigabytes of ram and this has ios 12.1 and this has android 9 pi out of the box with oxygen os 9.0.4 okay so let's begin with face id versus the in display fingerprint scanner on the oneplus 6t so let's go ahead and do this three two one and you can see the iphone 10s max very fast to recognize you it almost never misses here on this new iphone 10s max it's pretty accurate even in the dark and it does authenticate with apps but there's an all new kid all new technology in town and we're seeing it here on the oneplus 6t it's not the first phone to have it but you can see in display fingerprint sensor and look how quick that is it's pretty quick i mean it misses a couple times since the first generation but if you get your thumb right on there it's almost as fast as any other fingerprint sensor that i've seen and forget about it when it comes to the face unlock it doesn't even let you see your lock screen three two one and you can see it's in again three two one so the one plus 6t is a monster in the speed to get into your phone but really this is the breakthrough feature here the fingerprint sensor you can see right there how it didn't recognize me so you really got to get your thumb right on there so like i say get it on there correctly and it's fast but you can miss sometimes so so there's still some work that's going to be done on this fingerprint sensor to get it even faster in future phones but still it's nice to see it here and this also authenticates with all your favorite applications like face id would on the iphone okay guys so let's get started with the application speed test but before we do that i want to show you that the oneplus 6t has a very similar operation now as the iPhone, you come up into the right and you can go into your last application. You come up and hold and you're in your app tray. Pretty similar to what we see here for the iPhone. Now, another thing I wanna show you is how small the notch is now on the OnePlus 6T. And I know some people are giving this different names, but definitely it's still called the notch, at least in display settings. Look at the differences here between that and the iPhone XS Max. There is no comparison there. Although that only serves the purpose on the 6T as a camera, it's still a lot cleaner looking, in my opinion, than this big notch right here for the iPhone XS Max. So everything's closed here for the 6T. Everything closed here for the iPhone XS Max. Let's begin with Instagram 3, 2, 1, and 1X animations for the OnePlus 6T because that's how it is out of the box. And you can see very similar performance, although the XS Max, again, just like every other Android phone, it just feels like it's smoother. But the OnePlus 6T feels faster, which is like, do you want speed or you want smooth? So pick between speed or smooth, and I think that's how you can decide easily which one you'll like in terms of everyday performance. Let's go into Twitter, and you can see Twitter is first there for the OnePlus 6T by a substantial margin over the iPhone XS Max coming out of there. Let's go into Snapchat. And you can see Snapchat is first for the 6T. Look at this gesture. It almost looks the same the way it comes home too. Let's go into Facebook. You can see that was pretty close. I didn't even see that one. You call it down below. Let's go into Amazon. And you can see Amazon is first for the 6T. Scrolling through a similar performance on both. And that notch is just so much cleaner to me. It just looks like more of an all screen. But then if you look at the bottom here, it gets even closer on the 10s Max to an all screen at the bottom. So do you like less chin or do you like less notch? That's kind of how you could decide as well between these. Let's go into eBay. And you can see eBay is first on the right for the 6T. Man, this is a fast phone right here. Let's go into Best Buy. And you can see Best Buy is first for the 6T. So the speed you need that's usually wrote on the box of the OnePlus devices might be true. Let's go into Prime Video. And again, the OnePlus 6T says, I'll meet you at the finish line, iPhone. Let's go into Slither. And you can see Slither, will the iPhone XS Max come ahead? And it does here. So gaming, it looks like the XS Max is still gonna be the way to go here. 
when it comes to gaming as the first even casual game has outran the 6T on the 10S Max. Let's go into Temple Run and you could see, ooh, the 6T with a win there. Shocking. You don't usually see an Android phone beat any iPhone in any type of loading or anything. And even casual games always lose on Android phones. So yeah, pretty good stuff there. But we're gonna get into Dead Trigger here where it's gonna require a little bit more power. Let's go into Dead Trigger 2. And you can see the 6T. Wow, that is pretty close. I think the 10S Max took it slightly, but wow. That phone kept up pretty good here in the 6T. So you can see the 10S Max again ahead. So definitely still the seven nanometer chip is gonna be a faster phone than the 10 nanometer here for the 6T. But this is a fast phone right here as well. So let's go into PUBG Mobile, three, two, one. See which one can get to the match screen first. I will speed this up as this game takes significantly longer to load than many others. I'll be right back. Okay, so the iPhone XS Max really blew away the OnePlus 6T when it comes to loading up PUBG Mobile here. So I think that when it comes down to the more graphically intensive stuff like this game right here, the iPhone XS Max is going to be the winner when it comes to this stuff. So OnePlus 6T very fast in everyday applications and everyday casual stuff. And mostly it can still do heavy things as well, just like the 10s Max. But the 10s Max, you're paying more for it. So you can see right there, we got in a match first as well. It's just going to give you a little more muscle than you're going to get on the 16. Now, if that's enough to justify almost a thousand dollars more in the price point, it's going to come down to your own personal opinion and how you feel about the phones you invest in. But at the same time, the 10s Max faster when it comes to PUBG. Let's head into Video Shop. And you can see Video Shop does load first. It looked like the 6T, but that could have been the 10S Max. Let me know down below. What about Geekbench? And Geekbench to the 6T. I'm not sure if they optimized it yet for the 10S Max, so it looks like they haven't. So this one right here, definitely the win on Geekbench. Okay, so the iPhone 10S Max, here we go with the multitasking. We're gonna see if we get any reloads here for this RAM management where they have to hold these applications. I don't expect many, if any, on the iPhone XS Max. Let's go into Prime Video. Let's go into Best Buy, eBay, Amazon, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. So very good RAM management here for the XS Max. Let's go into the OnePlus 6T, eight gigabytes of RAM. I don't expect anything here either, as this phone is also very fast. Let's come home. Let's go into Dead Trigger. Two. Let's go into Temple Run. Now I do have to mention that the gestures are a little bit choppier on the OnePlus 6T. They don't look as smooth as the ones on the iPhone XS Max. But you don't have to have gestures on this phone. You can put on the you know home buttons if you would like, or the Pixel style pill button. So you see, and there was no reloads at all whatsoever for the 6T. So this is a powerhouse in multitasking and RAM management as well with eight gigabytes of that. Okay guys, so I shot the same one minute clip on both devices and we're gonna save this at 1080p at 30 to the gallery. So let's go ahead and see which one can render it out first. 1080p for the tennis Max, 30, 1080p for the 6T. We're going to the gallery three, two, one. Now this can show you which one has a little bit more muscle under the hood when it comes to everyday you know, video editing, which is gonna really stress the CPU. And this is only one minute clip. And you see the iPhone XS Max says, sit down OnePlus 6T, I'll see you at the editing stop. And you can see that the OnePlus 6T finally finishes, but when it comes to video rendering, there is no match for the iPhone XS Max right now. Okay, so the final Geekbench scores are in and you could see that the XS Max takes the OnePlus 6T to school on the benchmarking, but in everyday real world performance, they're both blistering fast. So that's it for me between the iPhone XS Max and the all new OnePlus 6T with its in-display fingerprint sensor tech, pretty cool stuff. Let me know if you wanna see any more videos on the 6T as it just arrived to the channel today. And I'll take those into consideration, speed test or any kind of you know reviews you would like to see with this device you have in trouble 